Welcome to Play Guitar. We hope you enjoy this lesson and we'll see you on the other side. This is Bruce's infamous drop F sharp tuning. So basically it's the G string is tuned down a half a step from a G to an F sharp. And of course you do that, you know, without the capo on and then the capo's on the third fret and then just check your tuning again uh, once you put your capo on because sometimes the capo will make the guitar go to a sharp tuning. So the first chord is fourth finger, fourth fret, fifth string, pointer finger, second fret, fourth string, middle finger, third string, third fret, and you get this chord. The chord you come out of, or you go to once you come out of this, is this. Basically it's just an A type of shape chord, but because the uh, G string is tuned down, you actually play that, what you would normally play here, you play it up here. So that's the chord you go to after you do this. And what he does on the rhythm side of things, he actually climbs the three strings at a time with his right hand, but also keeping his thumb very active in that. So, so what I'm doing is using my three fingers, starting on the fifth fret, or sorry, fifth, fifth string, moving to the fourth string, moving to the third string, and then coming back to this. Now also when I'm going through that, there's a couple, I really don't know how to describe them. They're either a, a pickup strum or they kind of fill in some of the gaps there for you. And I probably should show you this part too, so things tie together here. Um, but the little riff he plays, and it took me the longest time to pick out exactly what he's doing. But basically it's a hammer-on to the, on the sixth string, fourth fret. Hammer-on to the fifth string on the second fret. And then he picks the fourth string, second fret, and hits the open E string with his thumb. Everything together goes like this. Now, I may not have his right hand perfectly the way he does it, but it's close enough where at least you can play the song and sound intelligent while you're doing it, I guess. So that's the main part, that's his you know, the, the, all the verse parts with the little riff and, you know, the climbing thing he does with his right hand, all that kind of good stuff. And then when he comes out of the, uh, towards the end of the verse, he does his slide up to the 10th fret. I'm not going to count it from here. I'm just going to call it the 10th fret. And basically it's like a uh, power chord E but you're not playing this note here on the uh, G string. And, and what he does on this one, he kind of does um, the opposite of what he's doing down here where he's climbing up. Here, he actually goes the other way. So it's gonna be a slide into the 10th fret. And then he, he starts with these three fingers on the high E then the B, and then the, um, you know, coming into the G. Uh, 
Uh, so when he comes out of that, then he does his little rhythm on the eighth fret. And then he's back to the uh, G chord down here. I will try to describe what what I'm doing with the uh, with the rhythm fills here, and basically it's a little bit of a McCartneyism on this one too. I didn't say McCarthyism; I said McCartneyism, where it's a bit of a pluck to get the sounds, and that seems to be what he does on all of these. Is you know obviously he's not strumming them down, so you can't get uh, action on a string that way. So it's a bit of a pluck that he's doing. And in essence, that's all the verse. You know, you've got the climbing bits here, you're going down to the G chord here, and then you're sliding up. So I'm kind of just strumming with my fingers, plucking and strumming with my fingers is what I'm doing here. Even when, when you're singing the verse, you're going to be doing that. One important thing to note is when he's singing, he doesn't do the little hammer on riff. He just bounces back and forth between these two chords until it's time to do the slide up. Now the chorus part, it took me a while to figure out the chords that he's using. I couldn't really pick it up in the live one, and that's where, you know, time well spent on the other two videos I talked about. Um, I was able to figure out what he's doing in the, in the chorus parts. So his first chord that he plays is kind of dysfunctional in some respects beautiful sounding chord but uh, kind of a hard chord to sing over um, but nonetheless this is what he uses so it's a uh, fourth finger fourth fret and then these two strings I bar so it's a uh, fourth string and the third string on the second fret and then the pinky finger on the fourth fret second string and you get this chord I don't hit the the high E's. Uh, just too weird. And then the second chord he goes to is a little simpler where it's you remove the pinky finger and you only play the fourth string on the second fret. And then you get this chord. And then he's back into that. So Now we're going to go to something we already know. So that's the three main pieces. The climb, these two chords, the slide up here, the climb down, funky little rhythm here verse or sorry the chorus one more time back to the climb up
Okay, so then when he ends, he, you know, it's the same old, same old, except he just gives a little more accented uh, rhythm on the G chord here. So it's... So obviously listen to his recordings and you'll pick up some of the nuances that he is doing. Okay, well we hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you find value in that lesson, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and share. Stay tuned to the channel for future lessons and we'll see you soon.